What's going on, y'all? Uh, excuse my scratchy voice. I've been sick um, ever since I came back from Sweetwater Gear Fest a few weeks ago. Uh, but I'm not going to let that stop me from doing this video for y'all today. So uh, I want to show you how to make, um, how to pitch bend your bass and uh, other audio tracks uh, in Studio One. Uh, so while I was at Gear Fest, I was hanging out at the Presonus booth and got to meet Byron. And um, I watched him. Uh, demonstrate how to do this pitch bend on a uh, bass track and uh, he showed me how to do it and I immediately incorporated it into uh, one of my mixes when I got back to Nashville. Uh, so this is a mix from uh, an artist named Monty FG's and uh, after I did the mix uh, he wanted me to add some breakdowns and just um, do some creative stuff uh, within the beat to help uh, bring it out more and so what I did was during the the breakdown, uh, twice I did it in the song, during the breakdown of the verse, um, I added this bass drop uh, where it's pitch bending the bass down. I'm going to play that for you here. One more time. And uh, here's it soloed. And one more time in the mix. And so um, let me show you how I did that. So first we took the, um, the bass line here. Well, I'm gonna just copy this to the end of the song. Okay, so get rid of this fade. So just take a bar. Okay, so uh, I already hit this bass line. So what I'm do is I send it to sample one. And with it inside of sample one, uh, the first thing I do is take the pitch bend, pitch bend range, and I make that the max that it can go, which is 24. And I was going to create the sample one track all the way at the bottom. I'm just gonna take that and bring it back up to where we're working here. For those not familiar with um, sample one, it's the sampler that comes with uh, the Studio One. Uh, very easy to use and let's see. So when you add a when you add a sample to sample one, it's gonna by default put it on C3. So now I'm going to double click here to uh, create MIDI, MIDI event here. Actually didn't do it, there we go. So we're, see we're at bar 8788. So I'm gonna go here to C3 where we know we have our sample or the root of our sample. And here we go. Add it there. Let's get on C3 and just gonna extend that for that bar. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to mute the main one because we want to just hear uh, the one coming from sample one. And if we Let's go ahead and loop this. So we play that. Okay. So to do the, the pitch bend, you see you've got uh, velocity, modulation, pitch bend, aftertouch. Uh, we want to go to the pitch bend. And uh, Byron used the, the parabola, but you can use really any one because Really what this is is automation, so you can do really anything you want with it here. You can bend it up, bend it down, uh, put it in square, sine, triangle. But, uh, we're going to click in here to see where zero is, and uh, let's take we'll take just the last, last beat here and bend it down and hear what we got. I really I could back that up a little bit. Let's do it halfway. 
actually. There we go. And what I actually did in the mix is I created uh, where I bent it, I took this, brought it down a couple notes, I believe to G. And from there I shortened it. So I actually got two hits. And where it started to hit, it started to bend down. Actually, bring that back to when that second note hits. Here we go. Okay, and to give you an example of the uh, of the pitch bend range, let's um, bring sample one back here. And remember, so I hit the pitch bend range at 24, which was the most it could go. So if I set the range back to two, which is the lowest it can go, hear how it affects the, the pitch bend now. Actually, let's get that back to zero. Okay. And then back to 24. You see the it bends a lot farther down at the max of 24, so let's just try it at 12. So you can really tweak this pitch bend range to get it right where you need it to be. Okay. And then of course, uh, when we're done uh, tweaking it and getting it the way we want, all we have to do is Command B and it'll bounce that file. And there we go. Solo that to hear it. And so just as a, another example, of what we could do with the uh, the automation here. Um, let's take let's take the triangle for example. And let's first get rid of these. Okay. So with the triangle, let's take from here. Let's add that and see what we got. So you can see all different kind of tweaks that you can do. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a bass. I mean, you can do this with, with really anything. You know, it'd be really creative with it. Uh, but there you go. It's just a quick video on how you can, um, uh, you can pitch bend uh, your bass tracks. All right. Catch you all next time.